Yay, we are live, Mom. Speak. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Bonnie, Kelly, Dana, Robin, Becca, Jill. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hi, Patty. Let me know when we're live on YouTube, too. Receiving the content. <sighs> oh, oh lots of likes already, my dear. Yay, thank you, guys. <laughs> dun, dun. Dun, dun. Hi, Tammy. Hello. Hi, Turid. Denise. Mm, yay. So, just in case you didn't know, dear, we're live now. Yeah, she told me like five times. <laughs> Give me two seconds to finish what I'm doing. One Mississippi, two. Okay, we're live. Okay. Jolene says, where on earth did she get that cute apron? Thank you. Darren. Darren. From England. Wait, England? In Darren. England, one of our very nice viewer, viewers, which we have 99% of our, our viewers are very nice. You can... Uh, I wish I could say 100%, but I can't. If you look really closely, you can tell it's from London because it has Oxford Street and Regent Street and Coventry Street and Leicester Square. And you have to give everything in pounds. Yeah, and it has everything in pounds and dollars on it. Which is kind of fun. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Dave also uh, has the best jacket ever. Yes, and Dave got perfect. a really cool London jacket Mike and Millie brought back for them. Okay, so I got my dinner done here. And... <clears throat> Mike, what is for dinner? Wanted. What did you want for dinner? Cheeseburger rolls. Did you make oh, them? Oh, I forgot to make Dave's cheeseburger rolls today. I'm sorry, Dave. Why were you making them? Did he do you something? I'll have to make. I'll have to make them Friday. So. Uh oh, Elizabeth's just not getting video. You might refresh, Elizabeth, because it's coming Are through. At least not leaving. Oh. Yay, we're live on okay, YouTube. Dolphin so, Man swimming in. Dolphin Man swimming in. <laughs> I lost my book. <laughs> I gotta have my book. We got hi, everyone. Electric bill. So we've had some questions. Patty says hi from Longmont. Just announced afternoon rains for the weekend. Blah. You know, it's funny though. Is somebody else asked if we had the hail. We did not really have the hail. Yeah, but teensy. Yeah, we did. A Where were bit? you? I was in fire. Teensy? Oh, so. <laughs> They were but, small hell, but we got a lot of it. I'm kind of liking the rain and the... Yeah, I like mellow. it too. I I'm why. liking it because I put all that grass seed down and I don't want to be watering it. So I am happy Ooh. that I don't have to be watering. Yay. <laughs> oh, Wendy says she's Whoa. recovering from surgery. Well, hopefully that's well, going here. well. Are you going to hashtag parkour? Mm, not yet. Oh. Okay, so today I can't find my beautiful brand new Dining on a Dime, so we get to use my little mucked up one here. Oh, but it has character. Yeah, it certainly has character. You can see character. how much she really uses it. So you guys can see I actually really use my own cookbook. I really do. This is the one we keep in our kitchen. And I am making garlic cheese biscuits on page... Ooh, cheese! 95... Dave loves right there, cheese garlic rolls. cheese biscuits. These are Michael's favorite. If you, hey, you can I haven't had them in a long time, but yes, I you love them. You can put the cheese inside and put the hamburger inside too, and you can make cheese burger rolls instead for Dave. And I just yeah. shared the link to the recipe. Can you do that? Or do you not get the hamburger? No. Mom doesn't like Hand it. me the Sue's hamburger out of the freezer. So, hello! And Ashley from Georgia just joined in. Our favorite this British hamburger? person who visits us. You can make me many Sue? Yes. <laughs> Is this hamburger? It's hamburger. Okay. <laughs> All right. So Dave thinks he needs cheeseburger roll biscuits. So we'll try that. Ellie, did Ellie get a new vlog? Yes. <gasps> Sassy pigeons and boats. Oh. Okay. So come tell them about your vlog. And what was you? We went with Sue. Mm -hmm. And in this vlog, so yeah, <laughs> we did. We looked at Foxton Locks, which is like a. Um. Now I now I don't have words for it, but just a system of locks to lift boats <laughs> over hills. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. So 
which is pretty cool. Yeah. So go check out Ellie's vlog. Sharing the link Ooh, now. Her video for those of you who don't know what a vlog is. Because some people don't. Because, yeah, it's weird. <laughs> All right, so I have my oh, lots of life flour symbols. in here. Michael put the link for the recipe. And I've got my baking powder I just put in and my salt. See, <laughs> everybody's all excited for your vlog. <laughs> and my garlic powder. Now let's see this week if I can try and get my garlic powder without dumping the whole entire thing. Bandana Grandma says, hey, Tara and family. Hello, Bandana Grandma. I started watching your faith journey. It was very inspiring. I only got up to number three. But it was really good. So guys, go check out Bandana Grandma's faith journey. It was a very good story. Okay, now you can put chives in here if you want also. I don't. Um, okay, so now... I'm adding my cheese. Oh, it smells delicious already. Wait, you're making date cheeseburger ones too? I will make you some cheeseburger ones. You need cheeseburger rolls? So Karen, gonna have the garlic? Sorry, so Karen said she bought bubble bath to replace hand soap in the kitchen. Very good. Isn't that mm. cheaper? It's all much cheaper. So, so, so much cheaper. Uh oh, Kathleen says, yes, I, we did have hail. I guess it's just because I wasn't here. I was five minutes away. And what's funny is here in Northern Colorado, we can be here and everywhere around us can be getting just pummeled with weather and we can have like, sun. <laughs> like what's crazy is there would be like everywhere else it would be rainy. Like you'd see a big wall of rain just coming towards our house and then it would just break up into a circle and wait around our house. It really does. And then pass. Dangerous. And we don't get any stupid rain and everyone else does and it's just... But uh. we've been getting the rain the last couple of days and... I'm happy. Not I know Patty's much. not real happy, but I'm happy because I don't have to water. Okay, so now I'm adding my shortening. Yes, you can use margarine or butter if you would rather. I use shortening because it just makes them fluffier. And I have no fear of shortening. So are these the formed variety or the drop variety? Formed. Oh, okay. I'm going to do them all nice and neat this time. Yay. Okay, so then you can take a pastry cutter or two knives and mix in your shortening. It's called cutting it in, but I just take my fingers and just mix it until it's crumbly. Can they see what I'm doing, Dave? I don't think they can. Oh, just a little bit. I need to zoom in. Uh, it takes so long to turn on the settings. Okay, so now see how it looks like cornmeal? That's so if you so if you have a big piece like this, just crumple it up in the flour. See, ta-da, ta-da, ta-da. Very lovely. We are with the Homestead Network this evening, so I'm making garlic biscuits because everyone should know how to make garlic biscuits because they're delicious. Yep. That's thehomesteadnetwork.com, right? Yes. Yep. And I know I was supposed to do potato plate starter but i was supposed to start it a week ago so you got to work with me here i didn't get this started a week ago if she made it today she'd have to put miracle grow on it <laughs> ah aren't you funny oh, oh. i got that joke i got it okay so now i need in the bowl you don't have to but i do and i just you you're not needing this like yeast bread you're kneading this enough to bring it together and not let it be completely sticky. Like you don't want it to be like you want it to be like play of consistency, play dough consistency. Very you don't want good. It to be too stiff like a rock because then it'll taste stale. But yeah, you don't want it too. Uh, sorry, I'm in the middle of a different thing at this moment. Just you don't want it too squinchy like a moss ball, which I guess most of you probably don't know what that is. Okay, so now I'm going to flatten it out. All right. Dave, I'm like really crooked on the screen. You're not even, oh yeah, I need to. <laughs> Watch what you're doing, bud. Let me center it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> there we go. Sorry. Okay, now. 
I just flatten it out with my hand, or you can use the rolling pin, whatever you want. Uh, so there's an article on that, that's what you're saying? Yes. So we have a graduate graduating this year, and if you guys do too, what about um, I have an article on how to that mom and I did on how to have a cheap graduation party. What? what? It doesn't have to cost twenty five hundred dollars, people. <laughs> My word. Mama, darling, gotta stop some truth in me. Mm, mm, mm. You know it, girl. <laughs> so. I was talking to my physical therapist a couple of years ago, and she was like, yeah, well, it was only $2,500 for my son's graduation party, and I tell you the truth, I about fell off the table. Forget my shoulder. I'm dying of a heart attack. When you tell me it's $2,500, that is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Joanne says Ellie is the cutest. Oh, thanks, Joanne. Ellie is the cutest. Yay, everybody give a thumbs up if you think Ellie is the cutest. Ooh, yay. <laughs> and Zuleika says, hi, you guys are new on this page. Welcome. Well, welcome. And okay. tell me if I pronounced your name right. <laughs> and now, oh, man. Now I am just cutting these out. See, I'm making. Ellie. See, everybody thinks you're the cutest. <laughs> See, I'm cutting them out and I'm putting Ooh. them on my tray. Can I smell them? Do they smell garlicky? <sighs> They smell like garlic salad. <laughs> okay, I'll do one more and then I'll do Dave's cheeseburger roll biscuits. All right, so. Wait, what? Are we doing biscuits? Well, Dave wanted cheeseburger rolls and I failed as a mother. So. You always fail. Oh, thanks. So I'm going to make a cheeseburger roll oh, man. for Dave. Yes, go check out the Homestead Network, guys. There are a ton of homesteaders on there, and we all got together, and we promote each other. You're gonna make a cheeseburger roll. Sort of a cheeseburger roll, yes. A oh. mini cheeseburger roll. Oh, you just cheese. Oh. Does it have the burger inside? Yes, it is gonna have the burger. I have burger right here. See? Okay. Ow. Can I have some regular burger, please? Well, you'll have to warm it up in the microwave. Well, yeah, but can I? Okay, so Dave's cheeseburger roll. Yes. So there's the che there's the burger. Yeah, you can. Okay. Well, actually, Jack, why don't you wait? Are you because making we're going to be this, eating this. Yes. Well, that ought to be good. Um, because you're not going to be wanting to eat dinner. Okay, so now I've never done it this way before, so let's just see how this works. Danielle likes your apron too. Thank you guys. Okay, so now I'm pressing it in to the dough. So this would be like a calzone type thing. Calzone. A great big pizza pocket. I don't know what do you want to call it, but what do I call it? Pizza a pocket? It's a beefy, pasty, pasty calzone thing. Tom, <laughs> you almost broke a lamp. Okay, and since it's slightly stuck on the counter, okay, here we go. Ta da! And I'm placing it on the baking tray for Dave. Ta da! Ta 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 ta! Does it have cheese in it? It has cheese. Yes. Alright, so Sorry. now I'm still going to have some dough. Don't forget, you're, you're lucky. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to bake the garlic cheese biscuits for 15 to 20 minutes. And then, they will be done. Yay. Ellie, Sue said she watched your video. Yes, I saw your comments. I haven't been able to reply yet. <laughs> you know, maybe what we should do is start recording all these on my phone and just lopping out all the middle parts for all the people who are complaining that our videos are too long. <laughs> yeah, but isn't that what makes it funny? Look who's alive. Well, that's what I thought. Hello, BJ. So Ashley noticed. She was the first to notice, dear. Aren't they lovely? 
She noticed about the flowers back there. <laughs> so, yes. Do you want to come chat about yourself? Oh, uh, oh pull yeah, up a this. chair. This, this Can we ask a couple questions first, real quick? So, BJ is here. Okay. Sit down. Yes. And we'll talk about BJ for a minute. Yes. Well, Jeannie was just saying uh, she's making applesauce muffins, and she said, I found out I'm out of all-purpose flour. Can I use self-rising? Yes, just leave out the baking powder and salt. Okay. And Banana Grandma said, my husband is still raving about your coffee cake recipe. I think he's hinting for me to make more. It was good, wasn't it? Ellie made another one today for us. And you can see I had she to put noise off of it. Well, so, Bandana Grandma, you're... Uh, your pictures of it looked amazing. <laughs> yeah, your pictures looked really good. Oh, okay, you can have BJ. Oh, you're supposed to come back now. Pam said, I received my book and I love them. I've already made a bunch of brownies. So good. Yay, oh, my books. Yay, Pam, that's great. <laughs> so, do you want to tell them the news or do you want me to tell them the news? I have Lyme disease. Well, you have to say it so they can hear it. I have Lyme disease. I don't think the mic comes That's his out. maximum volume. He has a Just limiter. because you have Lyme disease does not mean you are defined by your Lyme disease. <laughs> oh my goodness, Mom. I just want to slap people when they tell me that. Ellie. Of course I'm defined by it. I can't do anything. I can't work. I can't even <laughs> sleep. I can't sleep. I'm hurling all the time. Wait, Peter was hurling from it? Yes. Seriously? So anyway, so tomorrow... Is that one of the... I just fat out of I don't know. We gotta talk to her about that. So tomorrow we go to the doctor and she is going to tell us what we need to do for it. It's been four years. What? I commented on one of the slow mo guys. They said to um, count the mouse traps and comment it. Mm hmm. So I just put out a random number and everyone liked it and I got one of the top five comments. <laughs> BJ keeps, BJ is Mr. Comedy. You wouldn't think he's Mr. Comedy because he's so low key. Trending. Ooh, Dolphin Man is a fork tongued up with a silver tongue. How do you say that? He says, she is lovely like her young looking grandmother. <gasps> oh! I'm not sure if I used the right... Yes. BJ, it's the there. second top comment. Because <laughs> the top one is pinned. You you're see? you're the top one except for seriously. Yeah, BJ is always <laughs> getting top comments. Ashley, likes. Ashley's asking for the recipe for the biscuits. She says I wow. add bacon to this and wonder how that would taste. It's it would taste one. wonderful. Page ninety five in Dining on Dime Cookbook. So anyway, BJ has Lyme disease. So tomorrow we go and talk to the doctor to see what we need to do to cure him. If he's curable, are you curable? Hopefully he's curable. Hopefully he's cu we all hope he's curable. We're not sure if he's curable. <laughs> yep. but uh, if he's from this family, I don't know. <laughs> he gets it from your side. What? <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Hi, Sally. Sally says hello from England. One day I will get the time difference right. Well, actually, we've only been on for yeah, we've only 20 been on minutes. yeah, 15 minutes. So. Um, <laughs> Can you guys hand me my soap? Oh, hand me that bag and my soap. So, um, yeah, so that was the news for BJ. Um, I was going to show you guys. Is Jamie on here? I have not seen her so far. Ashley was mentioning that Justin Rhodes has... Yes, I heard he had it, and I was curious what he does for it. Didn't he say something about um, his shows? So today I stopped by the thrift store. Hey, I'm now like top, top comment. Now. You're the top comment. Oh, brother. So I got Dave a dress shirt for his eighth grade graduation. Dad. Yes? It's a sad day. Uh, it's not called a graduation. It's called a promotion. According to Miss Albertson, he smacks you if you say something wrong. I have to shop in the men's section for our five foot nine baby. 15 year old. <laughs> Wow. For our little baby now. He's no longer our little baby dad. Oh, man. He's our bigger boy. <laughs> and then I got Jack. So everything was 40%. These were $3 each, and they were 40% off at the thrift store today. So I got Jack a new shirt. 
His polos are looking pretty rough for school, which school lands in a couple weeks, but he wears them to church and stuff like that. And then I got Dave an Eddie Bauer polo. Whoa. Ew. This is like 35 bucks. Hold the phone. An Eddie Bauer polo. Wow. For what is 40% of $3? Good question. Dollar twenty. <laughs> Who needs math? Just kidding. What is 20? 60% of three dollars? No. What is 60% of three dollars? Did I say that wrong? Dollar forty. Wait, how many percent? So these are like a dollar sixty or something is what I paid. Why are people so triggered at your Laura comment? said she missed BJ's diagnosis. He just... has Lyme disease. Here's another one for Dave. And a last one for Dave. Nice, nice. And then for Jonathan here, he, poor guy, he has been wanting a lightweight jacket so he doesn't have to have his big, heavy coat. Do you like it? Is that pretty cool? Okay, try it on. Let's see if it fits. Here, I'm going to try so, it. So the gal at the thrift store was sit standing right there, and I said, do you guys have any jackets left for kids at all? And she's like, well, if we don't have it out here, I said, okay. So, well, I just tried to find one for my son. And she said, well, let me go look in the back. She said, what size do you need? And I said, an 8 to 10. And she said, well, this is the only one we have. Ooh, bring it here, Jack. Getting lots of love, dear. Getting LOL. Here, come over here. She was, um, said, Ooh. oh, I had this one, and it's a 10, 12. But look at this. He's a growing guy. Oh, where are you going? Wow. That looks pretty toasty. Does it feel toasty? Mm-hmm. So I paid a dollar for that. Yay. And then the thrift store had these rectangle, I don't know, what do you call that? They're ice cube things for ice bottle, for water bottles. But they're silicone, so I'm going to use them in my mold in, for my soap. I, so, I'm not sure how you say your name, but it mm, says to give every confidence in bargains from garage sales, I scored a ping pong table worth $169 for $25 for whoa. a whole family fun. Wow. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Huh. Oops. And then remember my huge soap fail Friday? So this is just part of it. I had two great big loaves, but I rebatched it with hot process for us. So, anybody have Lyme disease? Can you tell us how you got rid of it? Uh, uh, Angela is asking, what was the first thing you put in the oven at the beginning of the show? Our lasagna for dinner. Oh, that was before the biscuits. Okay. Yes. Man, I feel really clouded over today. You feel clouded over? Should we take, take your blood pressure on the air? We went in for muscle <laughs> testing. That was not, I don't think that was a valid test. How do you feel about muscle testing? I would prefer a witch cast a demon on me. <laughs> <laughs> so BJ had muscle testing done today and he didn't think it was legit. But we did it anyway because we got to get some answers, so... We need some ideas. Um, so tomorrow we go back to the doctor. We're gonna go, it's the functional medicine doctor. It is not the regular doctor. So all of this we will be paying cash for. But he's, dad, is he not worth it? No, he's worth it. <laughs> he's <laughs> worth the cash. Besides there's no bus to throw you under, so. <laughs> there's just no bus to throw me under. No, him. <laughs> oh, BJ. <laughs> you wouldn't Do you feel like the being bus? thrown under the bus? We're too far away from the city. We're too far away from the city. So Lynn wants to know what made it definite that they can say it's Lyme disease. Well, <laughs> so. um, well, they did a little weird dance and oh, <laughs> took stop. some beats. Okay, so. <laughs> they summoned the earth and the rocks to <laughs> run its energy through me and somehow it told them that I have Lyme disease. <laughs> That's not it. Did you know, just mocking them, sir. Uh, <laughs> I don't think it actually works, but... Well, there were other tests that did, though. So, so how do we know it's Lyme disease? Well, first of all, he has every single Lyme symptom. No and... more, no less. <laughs> <laughs> we... 
We tested him for every single thing we could find. And then we were going to go to Mayo. And I realized, you're welcome, that no one had tested him for Lyme disease yet. And so we had one Lyme test come back indefinite, which means there's something... Inconclusive. No, it wasn't inconclusive. It was indefinite, which is different, I found out. Inconclusive means there's nothing there that they could find at all. Indefinite means they found something, but they couldn't definitely say it was Lyme disease, okay? So then we had... When, when you get there, sorry, Tishonia was asking what is Lyme disease, so I don't know if everybody knows. Okay. So then we went and he had an infection test done and he has some sort of really bad raging infection. Do you feel like it's raging? I'm a zombie. You're a zombie? Literally. <laughs> and then we had an immune system test done and his immune system is severely suppressed and his liver is severely suppressed. So then, that was our ice Sorry. maker. <laughs> so then we went in and had muscle testing today, and it said that he had Lyme, and so that's what they're going with. How does that make you feel? I still don't believe in the muscle testing, but... He doesn't believe in the muscle testing. I don't know what I think about muscle testing. They hold medicine up to you and push your arm and supposedly your body tells them that you want this medicine. Really? Oh, that's all good. Well, BJ and I aren't too sure about those, but the actual tests seem to be revealing it. Mom swears He's got by a few, it. We're supposed to go else. in tomorrow for a few more tests, right? No. Tomorrow we're getting or what to we're get supposed results. to start doing and get results. Right. And we also had a tumor test, which I'm pretty sure is negative, or she probably would have told me today. <laughs> um, Hopefully you don't have a tumor. Hi, Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we're going on. So we're probably going to cancel. I can't see what anyone's saying. Mayo for right now. And then spend the money to treat the Lyme. And then if he's not better in six months, we'll go to Mayo. How's that sound for a plan? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, more than I want to do, but I want to feel productive again. You want to be a productive member of society, as you keep not saying? Not like a blob of flesh sitting <laughs> on a giant rock floating through space. <laughs> <laughs> but, he, but the times when he's feeling good, he lays down there hatching his new diabolical plans. <laughs> <laughs> Being famous on YouTube comments. <laughs> yeah, like, you guys should watch his doctor video. I think it's so funny. Like, half the comments I make aren't even that funny, and they become top comments. And I'm like, you just have the touch, like the sarcasm. Just... And I keep writing all of them down so I can make a video, but I've been so sick that I can't even make a video. Hmm. Bandana Grandma was asking, does Lyme disease affect blood pressure? It's not. Well, it? so it doesn't, except... Well, he said that it was from my body being okay. stressed or something like that. Yeah. Under... His, the Today he said that because his liver isn't functioning and his body is under such extreme stress that it could cause, my it, could cause it to go up. So, but that's why we were checking the tumors because the doctor thought maybe that was what was causing the blood pressure. Lyme disease, for whoever asked, I'm sorry, I forgot the name, is a disease you get from ticks. And when you get bit by a tick, you can get it past. And he was bitten by ticks four or five years ago. Was Multiple it five years ticks. ago? He had three tick bites. Well, I've been bitten in Kansas, and I was bit several times on hikes here and stuff like that. I didn't know this. Yeah. Well, I remember vividly because mom lit a match and I was like, don't burn me, don't burn me, don't burn me. <laughs> <laughs> and then she burned it and I felt it crawling around inside me and then she yanked it out with the tweezers and she's like, is the head there? <laughs> like, I don't know if the head's there. We need to go take it around some more. <laughs> 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 That's gross, man. <laughs> And I almost fainted because there was this giant bug in my 
I don't remember where it was. It was on my arm or something. It was on your arm. <laughs> oh my goodness. And so when you have ticks, it's a disease that's in ticks, and they don't always catch it. If you catch it in the first six weeks, it's really easy to cure with antibiotics. But after four years, it's going to be quite a long process. The doctor said about two years. I'm sorry. And then I'm going to be mostly dead for two to three months. <laughs> and then he's going to be really, really sick while they're killing it off. I don't know. Well, the thing is... Um, Thanks. <laughs> he didn't have the same symptoms he has now that whole time. It's just, I, I guess I'm just wondering if it's just because it's getting I know worse. what happened. He had some, he had symptoms that didn't seem to I know what happened. You like want me this. to tell you what happened? What? I know what happened. So he got bit by the ticks. And I'm sure what happened was his immune system was fighting off the ticks. And was doing a good job. Then you got the food poisoning when we went to go see Grandpa George and Laramie. Oh, oh, okay. No, and he no, got no. food poisoning, and I kept telling every single doctor, after he got that food poisoning, he wasn't doing, he couldn't function after that food poisoning. He just went downhill. <laughs> and I know what happened was his body was fighting off the food poisoning, and the Lyme took over because your immune system was down. It's a good theory. Hmm. It's, uh, it's not a theory. I know. <laughs> I am no, the mom. Sounds legit. Well, also... But no, I'm sure that's what happened. Right about the same time, you went to that Bible camp in the Mojave Desert, and you got stung by oh, scorpions. Yeah, got... <laughs> Poor kid. Poor kid. <laughs> he came home from summer camp. I kid you not, I thought we were going to have to take him to the emergency room. His foot was this big. He had a scorpion bite. We found out he is dehydrated. He was severely dehydrated. Well... The scorpion was in my shoe. It didn't just like come up on me and sting me. I it know. Put my shoe on and it stung uh, me. Uh, like that's the way it usually happens. Times. Oh, and they, I don't remember what they did. They gave me some kind of shot and it went down almost instantly. And then it started getting infected like a week after I came back. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So he had all those things happen at the same time. You're going to be a, like a superhuman. You'll be immune to everything now. <laughs> yeah. So Cher says, oh, yeah, May well, is Lyme Awareness Month. Uh, there you go. Is it? Yeah. She also well, says take him to LLMD, but I'm not sure what that is. What is... To an, an LLMD. Hmm. What is an LLMD? Lyme something. <laughs> something, something. Lyme, Lyme... Wait, Man I'm doctor? Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm Monopoly doctor. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, some people were asking blood yep. pressure questions. We, we've tested and or we've, he's not really under stress except for the physical stress, right? Or maybe he is. <laughs> well, I constantly have a headache. So I yeah, guess you could call that stress. I would say it's the physical stress, but it's the stress well, of being sick and in pain. Yeah, some people were wondering if you, you know, well, in the last like essential two oils or various things like that, if it oh. would make you feel better. But we've kind of tried all that, right? Yeah. In the last two or three weeks, like all my muscles and joints have just been <gasps> like it started to get bad, and then it got increasingly worse. And oh, have mercy! They want to walk. Michelle is watching this. She's from Wisconsin. She found a tick on her neck as we're talking. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Get tested for Lyme. <laughs> Don't Tammy, go through what I go through. <laughs> Tammy says, trust God, and the truth is, we do, and that's why we're not having a complete meltdown about this. That's why we're joking about it. So, uh... That would explain why no matter how hard I work out, I can never get used to it. Yes. <laughs> or how much I and guess. And you may not. We not need to ask hard. her tomorrow. She may have you not work out for a little while to let your body rest. Ugh. <sighs> I was just losing weight. <laughs> oh, Lori sorry. says, just checking in today. My daughter's in the hospital having a baby. We'll catch up on the replay. Enjoy your biscuits. Congratulations, Congratulations Lori. Yeah, Cher's saying that it's it's a die-off called Herxheimer yes. reflex, which is what makes them feel sick. Yes. Um, Although we do now because I had a really bad infection and I... Um, I had die off, and now we know how to fight it better. So, uh, sorry, Cher. Cher has had it for 28 years. Oh, that's oh a lot. man, mine. Well, so there were other people that were talking about that while you guys were talking. Um, 
Rosanna said she thought that Lyme disease is not curable, but manageable like diabetes. But she said they say the symptoms are manageable with diet, exercise, and clean eating. Yeah, it's the clean eating part I'm wondering about. Well, he's been doing... I've been doing been yeah. really good no, since I No, I know, but I diet. mean, <laughs> even more. You're not supposed to eat any gluten or wheat or dairy or sugar at all. And Bandana said, is it true it comes only from tiny deer ticks and not the regular sized ones? I have no, no idea. No, it's not, actually. They're think... finding, actually, it's really a lot more common than people even thought it was to be. Hmm. So, yeah, we could use prayers to figure out what he needs to get better. Um, um, um. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Kirsten says, a woman I grew up with spent years trying to get diagnosis. Once she did, she got treatment, but it took a long time. But she's worlds better than she was. She lost tons of weight, no longer needs pain medicines, and doing wonderfully. Wow. That's kind of the outcome we're hoping for. <laughs> so... Uh, Shirley says I would still take him to Mayo, uh, and she says that she well, agrees with BJ doesn't trust functional medicine too much. I think we're not putting off, we're not, we're not going to not go to it. Mayo, we're just, Postponing they had to reevaluate <laughs> his records, and, because they, they, If we go to infectious disease, they won't just take him. They have to evaluate his records and all this, and it's a great big hoo-ha to get him from neurology, because we were taking him for his headaches, to infectious disease. Because now we know for sure it's not just a headache yeah. problem. <laughs> now we know it's not a headache problem. Um, Would you like to you get a chair and bring it over here? Darren gave that to me from England. Yeah. Isn't it cute? But look here. Look, look, look. Just for you. Bond <gasps> Street. Bond. Just yeah. for you. Um, Darren says he can't watch that often because he it's, has not been staying up that late in London. And I know we had that same experience when we were there. But uh, but Ellie and I had to stop at Bond Street Station because... My lasagna for dinner? Oh, that looks really delish. Wait, what? There's actually a street called Bond Street? Apparently. There's a, there's a Bond Street tube station there's on the London Underground. I thought it was just on the Monopoly game. I didn't know Sorry, I had other question. I was trying to see if there were any more on this thing. Oh, uh, ooh, I don't know if I could say your name right. Uh, Ludmila says, what are his symptoms? What are your symptoms? Oh, me? Sore muscles and joints, headache, uh, extreme tiredness, unable to sleep. <laughs> Nausea. Get completely winded, like just going up the stairs. Brain fog. And trust me, a doctor brought this up that I'm just out of shape. I tried, I tried exercising every single day yeah. for 10, 10 months, mm -hmm. 9 or 10 months, and I was still sure. just as winded, and it was just making everything a whole lot worse. <laughs> so, yeah. um, you know, throwing up, stomach aches. Yep. Yeah, um, and the thing about him, about them asking about his weight is he, he weighed less when he got when he really started having the problem but it when was when he got the food poisoning he lost a ton a ton of weight and well, cause I stopped eating cause I was... and he's not really <laughs> I mean, like very overweight now it's just that he he's more sleeps. than i would like to be <laughs> he sleeps a lot and that unfortunately is hard to you know ginger asks when are you gonna bake actually we're baking right now <laughs> it's already in the oven so Sorry. I, I'm going to reshare the recipe because we haven't talked about and it for a while. And they asked to reshare Ellie's vlog. So here's the recipe for the garlic biscuits. <clears throat> and let's see. Part two of Ellie's vlog. Vlog. And vlog. can you find BJ's vlog? BJ's doctor one? That's hilarious. Oh, yeah. Somebody said, <laughs> oh, I didn't share the recipe. But here's the I was going to do a doctor's part two. I don't want to release any spoilers, but... Uh -oh. Well, somebody said, who was it that said that? Uh, somebody was talking about BJ. Bandana Grandma said, you need sunglasses. Me? Tishonia says, you're cute. For <gasps> Bond. Um, oh. Uh, let's see. Somebody said that BJ's hilariously funny and asked you to make more videos. Oh, Julie Morgan. BJ's so go, videos are so funny. Make more, please. Praying for him. Go get his channel. I, uh, share his channel. I try to make videos whenever I'm feeling good, but the problem is I don't feel very good like 95% of the time. So my videos, sometimes I film like five of them in a day, 
What? We're just laughing at the picture that comes up with your channel. (laughs) Sometimes I'll film like five videos in a day and then just schedule them to upload. And some days it takes me like two or three weeks to film because I really only film when I'm feeling good, so. But when he does, it's it's hilarious. Okay, let's see. Sorry, I'm trying to get the link. for. So sorry for not uploading. I'll try and get on that hopefully soon. It's been Um, like three weeks since I've uploaded, I think. Well, two. So is your aquarium channel also on there? I mean, is it a separate channel or is it part of the same? It's a separate channel. Do you link to it from that one? So if if they wanted to see it? I don't know if it's linked to my main channel or not. My Bond's Aquarium channel, I really don't post regularly to that. I just kind of... BJ loves Film fish. what I'm doing and then upload it whenever I'm... You're doing only it. living for your fish, aren't you? You're only keeping going for no, the fish. I'm also living for my cat. <laughs> <laughs> Notice he didn't say he was living for mom's kisses. <laughs> or hugs. What would you guys do with my fish if I just died today? <laughs> well, I think the fish would be a, probably the last thing we would yeah. think about. <laughs> well, <laughs> No, no, no. We would no. let them you join to... you in your casket, I guess. <laughs> no. But you just kill fish unnecessarily, then. <laughs> well, you heard my friend Ned's story, right? What? Oh, yeah, you flushed them. I had two fish Alive. when I was like 10, and I named them Fred and Ned. They were goldfish. Or guppies, I don't know. Guppies, I think. And I named him Fred and Ed, and one day I was in the bathroom flushing the toilet, and Mom's like, what are you doing? I said, oh, I flushed Fred and Ed. She said, what? I said, oh, I got tired of dealing with her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, Poor so, fish. Uh, let's see. Compassion? I am What's... never letting you touch my fish. <laughs> Something is not my big strong suit. I don't know. What is that? What would you call that? Compassion. Compassion is not my strong suit. Living on a dime. Yeah. Exposed. I'm getting... <laughs> I'm giving Zoe my fish when I die. Okay. Oh my goodness. So they'll have to travel to Luxembourg. I was going to say, how's she going to get them to Luxembourg? You need to pack them in little bags and <laughs> ship them off. Put some heaters in oh, there so they don't freeze to death over the ocean. We had a couple things that people were asking about related to the recipe. Can yeah. Digress that for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> um, Annette asked, can you use butter or coconut oil instead Maybe. of Crisco? Oh, thank you. Oh, goodbye. Have fun at hashtag parkour. Um, yes, parkour, you can. Parkour. Do you use Crisco in those biscuits? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Wait, can I um, get it Well, yet? see, and Tony asked, what do you feel, Tara, is the secret to successful biscuits? I have um, an answer. Not kneading them too much. You don't want to knead them to death. I was going to say butter. Lots and lots of butter. Ow! Butter. You look at the Mike's okay. biscuits, there's a lot of butter. So you can eat a quarter of a biscuit as one serving. <laughs> okay, well these went just a little too long, but... Ooh, they look good, though. Mommy, and you burned my cheeseburger. I didn't burn it. The biscuits just got a little browner because I was trying to get the cheeseburger roll off. She burned it. And Marianne <laughs> said, my grandson and hubby love your barbecue recipe. I do, too, and I hate barbecue, she said. Ooh! Yay. So, let's see. Suze- Cesaro wants to know... How many aprons do you have, Tara? Do you even know? I don't know how many I have. I don't have... I just... Here, step back. Let me go check my aprons. Excuse Dolphin me. Dolphin Man wants to know in here, England if here. they will call BJ a limey now. <laughs> <laughs> I should do a... Um, life growing up in the 2000s. <laughs> sure. I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> um, can you go on this stool? Uh, oh, I'll hop on the stool. Sorry. I'm kind of Jacqueline worried. says you had the blood pressure okay. come upside down. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> I don't... Okay, so my I'm aprons. I'm kind of worried for you, Mom. So I have I'm sorry. one. I don't know. I guess um, I'll test myself again. Two. Uh, oh, three. Whoops. Sharon's asking me to post Ellie's blog again, so I'm going to do that. Four. This one's from Penny. Yay, Penny. And then five. This one's from Amy. Australia. Australia. Is it supposed to be like like this? Like with the cord facing Probably, up? Probably, yeah. Six. Thrift store. 
Seven from Linda. Ugh. Oh dear. Oh, Ooh, Carrie says, love watching y'all. I'm in Finland. Oh my, I've been to Finland. I've been there and I really liked it. And then mom made me this one, eight. And then nine from Wendy in New Zealand. Thrift oh store. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 10. There's 10. And then 11 from Mike and Ellie in London, which I love. <laughs> 12, mom made, and it matches my curtains in my kitchen. What number was that, 12? BJ, Turin says she loves the 13. YouTube video of you at the doctor. 13. <laughs> that one is hilarious. Yeah, I think that was one of my best ones, honestly. 14, Linda made for me, which I love zinnias, and that was so nice. 15, Penny gave me that oh, one. It's so like putting it on the other way, and it's reading higher. <laughs> Oh, great. 16. Mom made this one. This is one I've had for like 10 years, 10 or 15 years, and I love that one. 16 aprons. She wow. says the cord should face down towards your pinky, BJ. The cord should face down towards my pinky. Yep. Oh, I know that better. So I have 16 aprons. I think I need a few more. What about, <laughs> do you count your, the one you're wearing? Uh-huh. Okay, good. The thing is, is yeah, by the time so. I do the soap oh, shows, wow. And all my cooking videos, I wear about one every two weeks. So that's really not too much. Every two weeks. So people, not three, two. Carol's Cottage says, I got the best thrift store deal ever today. A dying on a dime cookbook in mint condition and a dig out of debt with the original cover for 75 cents each. Go me. Whoa. Wow. And then after, after talking to your mom, she said, I, Carol said, I figured someone must have died. No one would actually give away their dining on a dime or dig out a I was going to say, <laughs> hello. I saw it for $99 on eBay yesterday. Yeah, that was... See, Don't ever buy it for $99. Well, it is I'm not thinking... worth anywhere near that. Which one? This one? Yeah. Okay. okay, so I got 130 over 70, 140 over 90, and now I got 122 over 70 with heart palpitations. <laughs> oh, brother. Heart palpitations. Did we ever figure out what an LLMD is? Wait, is? It says you're having heart palpitations? Or you? Yes. I don't know. I didn't see what the LLMD was. Somebody did say something about um, look up what LLMD is. that her husband was being treated and improving like a functional medicine doctor, which is, kind what of, we're going which to. is where we've been going. <laughs> Mainly because they tested him for a lot of things the other doctor wouldn't test him for. Yeah. Um, L L LLMD, you said? LLMD. Tishonia says... It says Lyme disease on here. Says love the LLADS, doctor referral for Lyme disease. Huh. Okay. Lyme Lytrate Medical Doctor. Yeah. I did not know that. There was a specialist. I didn't know there was such a thing. Okay, there you go. Oh, man, that looks good. All those look so good. Um... Tish said she loved the color of the blue soap and was wondering what fragrance it was. Um, that one is Supernova. And this one is Oof. pine cone and lime. That's just called Supernova? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she says, I love rebatched soap. <laughs> so, unfortunately, this one I can't sell because I bled all over it. <laughs> so that's going to be Mike's. You don't mind, do you? No. <laughs> I, I shredded my thumb for you. For me? What? This one's okay. This one wasn't. It smells really good. You're going to be one fine smelling man. Woo! <laughs> yep. I love a good smelling man. All right. Well, then that's why uh, you love me. BJ at least has a good sense of humor, Lynn says. What? Lynn says at least you have a good sense of humor. Oh, yeah. thanks. <laughs> Phyllis said, oh, poor fish. <laughs> Would I do uh, that to my grand fish? Laura had to go. See you, Laura, if you're still around. Bye. Save saved the angelfish. <laughs> uh, I had a sick rabbit as a pet, pet and my dad saw it and said, your bunny has a hard time breathing, and we said, we think he's at the end soon. My dad went and came back in two minutes and said, he's gone. I always thought my dad did it. Yeah, he probably did. Oh, man. That's bad. Uh, <clears throat> that's too bad. Lynn doesn't trust yeah. her dad around her pants. I probably wouldn't either. 
I'm sorry. I wouldn't do that. I would move them upstairs oh. so we could admire them every day and remember you. Well, a bunch of people. With your picture above them. How's that? A bunch of people say you. If a single one dies, I'm going to come back and haunt you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bye. Have fun. Bye. A bunch of people were saying that you were doing the... the blood pressure thing wrong. Cher says, make sure the stethoscope part is on the inside of your arm over the vein above your elbow. What? And, um... Oh, you're hand it to me. And Mary was, Marianne was saying your arm should rest on the counter, which I think is because your blood pressure will register as higher if you're, you know. So, Oh, it's Lyme like Literate this? Doctor is what LLMD is. Oh, Lyme Literate? Okay, so like this, right? Hey, Des is here. I was just wondering. I hadn't seen you today. Okay, so give me a thumbs up. Is this correct? With your arm resting on the counter. Well, that's not exactly here. With your I think arm it's resting more like on the this. counter. <laughs> well, except with the left hand. Okay, so what's my blood pressure? Let's just do it like every single way and we can just be like, here's all my blood pressures. You figure it out. <laughs> so Pamela said, I thought this was about how to make the garlic biscuits like Red Lobster. Yes, uh, Pamela, it was, but... We finished the recipe in about 10 minutes. Because so we, we have quick and easy recipes in Dining on a Dime cookbook. So that was at the beginning. Oh, I need um, to change the shirt. And we actually have those. We've been showing them a couple times. They're really, really delish. So you might... I'm going to paste the recipe in again, but if you'd like to see that part, you can... Uh, okay. You can go back. You can rewind, I think. Am I the only to. person who really hates having their blood pressure taken? Then why are you doing... Oh my goodness, that's low. <laughs> see, I keep telling you, yours is too high. You shouldn't have a blood pressure that's 156 over 120 when you're 19. <laughs> that's and this what is we even need to tell the blood... dumb heart doctor. This is even when I have my blood pressure blood know. pressure medication down me. I know. Let's hmm. see. Okay, so this weird yeah. thing on top. Apparently, everybody was giving me a thumbs up, so I'm thinking that's right. <laughs> okay. <Like> that. <sighs> Mm -hmm. Is it good? Just like Red Lobster? Delicious. Actually, I haven't been to Red Lobster in 30 years, but it is really I heard good. it's not great. Oh, no. Ashley is wondering, how's Dave's foot? Is it better? Dave? Well, it's getting on. there. It's getting there, but he's still rolling around on the scooter. No, that cheeseburger roll is mine. No, it is not. I am going to eat it. I did not get I it. I will eat Stop. you. David. <sighs> Hmm. So, Um says probably you need to check Ayurvedic recipes. I don't know what those are. Check what? Ayurvedic recipes? Never heard of those. Well, that's Hundred, lots of hearts and thumbs ups. 75. Well, that's a lot better than has With a been. heart rate of 90. Why is my heart rate 90? Mom? Isn't that high or is that normal? Well, it seems a little high. It should be like 70 resting. Can I have butter? Yeah, you'll have to go find it. Yeah, I want to go to that heart There's doctor's office and I just want to... What did I tell you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, the, video still going? the heart doctor told BJ, he was like... You're you... fat. <laughs> he said, you just need to lose weight and exercise. And... Where are we going? Stop. Oh, okay. it's back again. Yeah, it's back. Okay, just the other... um, uh, It looks like we just lost it for a minute. Um, so they were like, you need to lose weight and exercise. We're like, he was exercising and he just got worse. He did lose weight and he didn't get any better. Well, we're going to have to go well, back and look at all worse. these suggestions. <laughs> you lose a pound at the table and an ounce at the gym is what he said. Bond, you need to exercise. And I tried you're not lazy to touch him. and you're fat. Yeah, I have blood pressure. Oh, well, and the thing is, he, he said I'm supposed to eat less. I'm supposed to eat like 2,000 calories a day if all I do is sleep. But at that time, I was only eating like eight or 900 calories a day. So it wasn't even... Yeah. Um, sorry, we had... Jean, uh, Jeannie asked, what are the best things to serve with the cheesy biscuits? So, we're serving it with lasagna tonight, because it's like, a, you know, like French bread, but, um, because it's garlicky. But, you could have chicken, or you could have it chicken. with, um, like ham or anything like that. Dad, we're having issues. Hmm. So. Vernon says, make a 15-minute fish meal with it. <laughs> yeah, you can make a 15-minute fish meal. Yeah, that would be good. I think uh, I'm going to start like going live. We're starting to have steaming issues. You're going to go live? 
I don't know. I don't know what I would do. What do you guys think I should do if I stream? What do you guys want BJ to stream before we leave? It looks like Facebook is frozen. Put us in the comments and let us know. It's still showing here. Is... Oh, it looks like it's... it might be back now. It no, I just never paused on, on this computer. Okay. Um. If I do streaming, what should I stream, I guess? What should BJ stream if he decides to live stream? Maybe we should live stream at the doctor tomorrow. Would they let us? Oh. <laughs> Tish says, what do doctors know? Mom knows best. See? Now, we discovered that when he was a teensy tiny baby. Would they let us live stream? Probably not. From the Mayo Clinic? Um, okay, so let's see. What should BJ stream? Any suggestions on what BJ should stream? Nope. Um. Lyme just, uh, we should live stream my Lyme disease treatments. Yeah. They also were saying, I think you know this when you're not on the show, but you're supposed to be really still and like take a deep yeah. breath and blow it out before you start and wait a second. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> So, okay, well, nobody has any suggestions for live streaming. Nope. Let's see. Yeah, what BJ should live stream for his first live stream. A bunch of people are saying they're well, continuing to pray for BJ, and we very much appreciate that. Thank, thank you, guys. guys. I've done a few live streams before just to kind of test it out for you guys. Because mom was having oh. a lot of trouble, and I was streaming on my channel just to... Jamie said, stream your fish tank world downstairs with relaxing music. <laughs> I yeah, told you, see, I keep telling him he needs to do a three-hour fish tank video. His fish tank is beautiful. Just wants it to is know great. What does BJ normally stream? I well, don't. He's never <laughs> live streamed before, and he's trying to decide what to do but he uploads for a little, live stream. But he uploads a lot of quirky comedy, right? Jonathan yeah. says you should stream the poetry of Leonard Nimoy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, funny. On that note, <clears throat> at the beginning of the show, um, who was it that said that? Jennifer said, I live in Boulder and I have a two-day rain limit. By day three, I feel the urge to wear a wool sweater and write sad poetry. <laughs> <laughs> See, in Colorado, people think the weather in Colorado is really bad and we shouldn't announce this to the rest of the world because there's too many people living here as it is now. But... <sighs> Out of 365 days, Colorado has like 330 sunny days. It's like a huge amount. But don't come here. We're tired of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, everybody says you should well, stream all, your fish. Our fans can come. <laughs> yeah, you, our fans can come, but nobody else. Everybody says you should stream your fish tank. Okay, well. I think that I would be good. Shirlene says you should live stream about your live and treatment as you're going through it. Yeah. I think that would be pretty interesting if they would let us. Linda says, does he play the guitar? To. Maybe you could live stream learning <laughs> to play the guitar. <laughs> no, I, I don't play any instruments. We play it equally well. <laughs> the, the guitar that has the little Elmo thing on it. I'm sure... <laughs> I'm sure I could learn how to play the guitar, but I just don't have the patience. <laughs> I don't either. I don't really have the patience to learn anything that's yeah. not of like serious interest and music is just not really to it right. and a couple of the people say you should stream your fish <laughs> okay well i think you should i'll share it when you go on tell me and i'll share it okay <laughs> all right so, all right guys well we're gonna go we're with the homestead network please go check it out we have a whole bunch of youtubers on there that do homesteading stuff thank you for your prayers for bj hopefully tomorrow morning we can get some treatment started hopefully tomorrow morning something just oh, and he's back to normal Let and i should do a live stream on my fish channel like answering questions as they come in mm -hmm. yeah you should <laughs> help my fish are dying how do i fix it <laughs> yeah he's the he's the only person i've ever known who could actually keep fish alive well, it's because I have nothing to do but sit around all day and read a whole bunch of tutorials on how to keep fish. Well, there you go. <laughs> See? I know how to do it like the back of my hand now. Bandana says, Tara, my husband was thumbing through your cookbook last night and was very impressed. Said it had tempting recipes, great tips, and looked very professional. Okay. This is unheard of for him to say. Wow. <laughs> He's a teacher, too. Wow. Honestly, that is the most stupid, no offense, BJ. 
This is the most stupid saying I know, like the back of my hand. Because no what? one ever memorizes the, the back, back of their hand. hand. <laughs> See, I know this town like the back of my... Whoa, what? when did that get... <laughs> Patricia wants to know if you have a specific day for streaming, so... So I try to stream on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but tomorrow we have a doctor's appointment for Elvis here. We'll stream that. Give me a thumbs up if you like BJ's hair. Is this not the most perfect Elvis hair ever? And he woke up like this. <laughs> well, I had to kind of push it up a little bit, but... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> This, he doesn't do anything to it. There's nothing in there. It just... No product or anything. It's just the I way that God made him. I think pink hair is better, though. Yeah, I think your pink <laughs> hair is the ultimate, so... <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to go. Have a good night. Please visit us at livingonadime.com. Give us a thumbs up, like, and shares. And stop sending me nasty comments. I'm just going to delete them, so don't waste your time. Well, so, she's only talking to the person that's doing that. To the person who keeps sending me nasty <laughs> comments. I'm just going to delete you. Actually, did you share on did you share on our uh, public yeah. living on a dime the one from that uh, lady who talks about when people say how I I hate all of your videos? <laughs> like, wait, what? Wait, but you, you watch know them what? All? We've made it big because this comedian lady and I can't remember her name, but she's really funny. She made fun of our how to fold a fitted sheet video. <laughs> did she? Oh, you gotta send that to me. Yep, she did. <clears throat> oh, I forgot. So. She, she's awesome. We need to remember to mention her. Yeah. Last well, I thought it was funny that the kids at Front Range. Well, the, kids, the adults at Front Range. Hmm? Jonathan says he's jealous of any hair. <laughs> um, oh, poor guy. I'm sorry. The people at Front Range all saw Nan's video, and none of them believed that she was my grandma. <laughs> That's so funny. The kids at school, they keep seeing Mom's How to Fold a Fitted Sheet video, and none of the kids will believe that it was actually <laughs> their <My> grandma. <laughs> They're like, no, that's really my grandma. Yeah, uh-huh. No, it really is my grandma. She got <laughs> 17 million views on... Patricia wants to know, does the fish tank lower your blood pressure? I guess. Well, I, does it, it relaxes you, right? Yeah. Well, that's why it's right next to my bed. <laughs> Helps him sleep. He said the rain helped him sleep the other day. Of course, my Cory catfish keeps jumping out of the water and hitting the grate and it scares me half to death every time he does. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright guys, we will see you later. Have a good night. Have this an awesome time is night. Official, no more comments, Dad. Hmm? This time it's official. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye everybody. See you Have Friday. a good night. <laughs> Facebook Hi, Penny. is dead and so is YouTube.